Hey guys, welcome back to another Terraria stream where we're just going to be fighting the eye today. Uh, so let's go do this. So I'm just going to start casting my spells while my friend's here shooting it and the other one's using melee. Now I'm just going to dodge this attack here. And then easy. The boss is now dead. Cool. So let's go pick up the... Uh, lost connection again? What the hell guys? Every time! It just... You might have seen these across the country. Fiber is light that is sent through a thin glass cable and it's extremely fast and resistant to outside interference. It can have nanoseconds of time in between the light flashes, which is what the data is turned into, and a large number of glass cables in one core, which means that a massive amount of data can be sent in instance. Although ADSL and VDSL travel at the speed of light, Fiber is more reliable and has less interference and also due to the large amount of cables in a single core, they can transfer huge amounts of data. Schools are greatly affected by fibre, in terms of speed and connectivity for students and teachers. With faster internet, students can use Google Docs or educational games like Quizlet more efficiently. Um, a lot of the online resources that we use were less reliable, so for example things like videos and lesson plans. Uh, since the fibre has been installed, um, that's improved greatly and so there's reliable internet speed to do everything we need to do for lessons. From a teaching standpoint, it just opens up the kinds of resources that we are able to access. So basically anything that's online, regardless of how much data it uses, um, if we need a whole class to be watching videos, that's not a problem. What it opens up for me as a teacher is um, the ability to have students working more individually on things because uh, they can access resources at their own time and work at their own pace and it also means that I can play more engaging lessons with video, audio and interactive activities like Quizlet Live. It makes teaching easier because it means that I'm able to plan lessons with a wider variety of activities. It means that I can stay up to date through having resources that um, might, might have just been created and it means I can access a lot of New Zealand content which is only available online sometimes. At Patauru College we often live stream our end of term assemblies and sports events on YouTube and Facebook. When we started the quality was so bad you could barely make out people's faces. Now with Fibre we can stream up to 4K. This allows us to produce stunning live streams that make our school look professional. Judy, come and look at this. Come and look at this. Oh, stand up straight. Ah, oh, that's incredible. It's brilliant. You've missed it now. Well, I just can't believe it because, you know, you want to be standing there with him and Quite honestly, with this modern technology and the way that broadband has sped up so much, it's just like being there. Except, you know, I couldn't get mum to come and watch it because, you know, she's ironing or something in the other room. You know. It used to be like... You, you were watching it as if it was from the dark side of the moon. You know, I go back to 1969 when uh, Neil Armstrong made his great step for mankind and it was all grainy and, and sometimes it, it was sort of like behind the time. But this, this one was absolutely incredible and I can't believe that it's being shot over there in New Zealand and in real time I can watch it here in England. It's just fantastic. For an old boy like me, that kind of technology is, well, quite frankly, it's magic. Hey guys, welcome back to another Terraria stream where today we're going to be defeating the eye with the new and improved fiber. So let's spawn him and take him out with the last prism. This time it'll be a lot quicker it's due to the fact that I've got better equipment and better internet. And now I got my loot. Thanks, fiber. <laughs> 